I hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to my channel. I uh, hope you can hear me. It's kind of windy out here. It, it, it wasn't windy. Just when I, when I turned the camera on, the wind started blowing. I am sorry I've been missing for a few days. I uh, been really busy. My husband's been away at work, and uh, there's just things I, was, I had to do the yard, and we need a new roof, and you know all the other house stuff. And uh, I needed a little inspiration, so I broke down, and I don't ever do this, but I broke down and I bought this book I like this one the other ones are okay I have another one but I don't have a lot of cookbooks I have a lot of Cajun books and I have a lot of baking books but uh, today we're gonna be inspired by her burrito bowls and she uses chicken and beef uh, I was trying to find a simple recipe but let me tell you there's a lot of prep work to this so it's so versatile so I thought this will be the best video to share because you can make it any way you like. I'll give you ideas of different vegetables you can use. Um, Ella's not here right now. She's having fun with a friend. So uh, I'm going to do the best I can to film by myself, but it should be okay. I've prepped everything. Hopefully the video won't be too long. But I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's got the Southwestern flavors, which you know we love. Um, there's a few recipes in here that I, I wanted to make. But I'm going to... I'm I'm, uh, I'm sorry, my tea's kicking in, but... Another thing I wanted to say is I'm trying to make smaller portions, so I'll be using one chicken breast for this recipe, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to make another video after this one because I am behind, and I'd like to catch up. I love communicating with you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. hope it inspires you to make a burrito bowl, and let's get started. Also, I forgot to mention that we're in the middle of that storm right now. Luckily, uh, we had very light rain and light wind, and I'm um, praying for all the people in Baton Rouge, New Iberia, New Orleans. But anyway, I wanted to say that because... Uh, we, we were very lucky and I'm blessed and uh, I'm able to cook today because I have power. A shot of all the ingredients, if I can fit it all in, that she uses for this recipe. Um, I will not be using a lot of those vegetables and I will not be using cilantro. Um, I'm not even sure if I like cilantro, but I need to try it. Anyway, that is the ingredients. All my spread right here. It's all over the place. Then you can put whatever you like in here. I made my rice in advance. Let me show you my rice. And I used uh, chicken stock. And I, I put a little bit of lime zest in here and a little bit of lime juice. And uh, I just made, I used medium grain rice. She calls for long grain rice and she cooks it on the stove. I, you know, I know the Pioneer woman uh, doesn't use instant pots or, but I know she sells them, so. Maybe she'll come out with a cookbook of instant pot. So let's heat up our pan. I want to heat it on high. I have a little butter, a little olive oil. All I did was use a chicken breast that I cut up into small pieces, and I put salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna actually get my pan heat up, and then we're gonna add some seasonings. You can add any seasoning you like. Another thing I'm gonna start is this pot back here. If you can see this pot. Um, it calls for a uh, queso dip if you want, or you can just use shredded cheese or both or, but I have, uh, some Velveeta cheese. I think I'm going to, I'm going to use, and I'm, this is, I love this salsa. You could use Rotel, uh, just diced tomato, chili, Mexican Rotel, whatever you like. But I'm going to heat this on low because I will burn it. I'm going to turn this one on high and, uh, I'm just going to just pour in. I kind of, I hate when it gets on the edge like that. I kind of just eyeball a little bit. And I have a, a, a couple of, I like to buy that Velveeta that's in the blocks. I'm going to cut it up a little bit so it melts quicker. And I'll probably add a little bit of milk or cream to this. But I'm going to put a little bit of, of two blocks of Velveeta. And I'm probably making more queso than I need. But uh, you could always add ground beef to this or you could just eat it as a dip. But uh, the velvet is very salty, but it's so creamy. And I know it's not good, but sometimes, you know, when you want a creamy dip, velvet is just the way to go, in my opinion. But you can make whatever. Or you could use it. Like, I also like the, uh, I tried the salsa con queso dip from the store, and I actually like that one a lot. But to make it a little bit sharper, I grated a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese, and that's a tiny bit of Monterey Jack cheese. So I might add that. But anyway, I'm gonna let my pan heat up. I thought I'd season the chicken with you and show you what I'm gonna use and then you can use whatever you like. 
I'm going to tell you, uh, I, I don't know why I didn't, well, I don't know why I didn't video yesterday. I was kind of in a nervous mood yesterday, but we tried this recipe and it's, uh, it was with pork chops, but I used chicken and it was pineapple fried rice with a, we used chicken breast and it, oh my gosh, I have to make it for you guys. Of course we made it our own, we made, you know, made our own sauce or whatever and it was so good. That looks hot enough, I guess. So let's put our chicken. My chicken breast is at room temperature also. And now I'm going to have to wash my hands. It's not quite hot enough. But that's okay. But also this recipe calls for a, a cut up a sirloin steak. So I thought about using ground beef. I said, no. I, to me, the chicken breast and the ground beef just didn't sound good together. Let me wash my hands. But it calls for a lot, a lot of... Uh, Protein. I like a lot of protein. You can put the shrimp in here. I'm just going to stick with chicken. Like I said, I'm trying to make smaller recipes. And my other option was going to be a salad. And we already made the dressing for that. But I changed my mind again. It's like I can't make up my mind lately. Here's my vegetables I'm going to use. I'll put that right here. So, okay, we're going to add a little chili powder. And you can measure it if you want to. I'm just going to sprinkle it on. But I'm going to put this on the chicken and the vegetables. So I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of chili powder on. All right, I love chili powder. And depending on how strong you want the, the, the flavor, this chili powder is not uh, spicy, by the way. But I'll show you one that is. You just cover that well. This, I showed you guys this before. This stuff let me give you a close-up. It's so hot. We're going to put just a tiny sprinkle on here. Because, of course, you know I'm going to have some chopped jalapeno in here. I'm going to put, I mean, like, not even a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm like a light, light sprinkle. And, of course, uh, some ground cumin. And you could also just add cumin. And I'm not following her ingredients because I, I know what we like. So you kind of just basically just use what, whatever you like. And I also like a little smoked paprika. Especially for color. I love the paprika. And I need to get another... Turn that down a little bit in the back. Yeah, I've kind of been all over the place lately. A little garlic powder. And this is the roasted garlic powder, which I love. I'm going to leave these out. Put them nice and seasoned. Oh, and I forgot my oregano. This, I love this oregano. I have some fresh oregano outside. It's, it doesn't look as healthy as it did at the beginning. All right, let's stir our cheese back here. So let me sear this a little bit and uh, add a little cream to this, and I'll be you right know, back. Uh, half and half. I actually have a lot of heavy cream, and I kind of need to use a little bit. I'm going to give this a stir. You have to be careful with cheese. It will scorch. I'm just going to add just a, just a little bit. I should have smelled it first. No, it's still good. Heavy cream lasts quite a while. You can make it as creamy as you like. And I will say this salsa is a little bit spicy, so I hope I'm not overdoing it today. But the rice should mellow it out. Uh, let's give this a stir. This smells so good already. And this chicken is going to take just a minute to cook. Because it's, uh, it's, what I did was, I actually, when I bought the chicken breast, I cut them in half. You don't want them to stick together. I had a white chicken on, but I changed because I'm so messy lately. So basically, I'll show you. Let's go ahead and add our. And this is the lime I used. I saved it to show you how I use the fresh lime. Let's add this. This just adds a little bit more flavor. I didn't want to add a lot because. I, I saved my, my sharp cheddar because I buy the really good kind. In, in my opinion, it's good anyway. Now, I'm going to give it another stir. I mean, it, should, it shouldn't take long at all. I'm going to melt this slow and low. It doesn't look very pretty, but it's going to taste good because I could eat just the cheese dip myself. I'm turn this down just a pinch. And give this a couple more minutes and we're going to take the chicken out and uh, put our veggies in.
take my chicken out. And my cheese already turned it off. And I bet you I only added like maybe a tablespoon or two of the heavy cream. It just adds a little creaminess. It's kind of, you know, you could also put this brownish chicken and put it in the Instant Pot. It'd be really tender that way. I cut up it in small pieces. And I gotta make sure I don't burn. Oh, I dropped it. It's quite messy. I think I get spoiled with the Instant Pot because you don't have to worry about dirty in your stove. Now, my tomato is homegrown, but I peeled the peeling. I have a hard time chewing it. And this is a yellow bell pepper. This is purple, yellow onion, and jalapeno. Now, you could put squash in here, zucchini in here. Um, I'm also... She doesn't do this, but I'm going to mix my beans in with my veg vegetables. I want them to cook. And I have to use a can of black beans because I don't have any homemade ones. And you could use pinto beans. You could use any beans you like. Just move that around. I don't know if I'm going to need any more seasoning, actually. Maybe a little salt and pepper. Gotta wipe up my mess. That's... I just put a little, maybe a, just a tiny bit of salt. Not much, because a little uh, pepper. Oh, and I need to put my garlic in too. I like to use fresh garlic. I'm actually gonna take this off the burner. You should put a lid on it, it's gonna get a little skin, but that's okay. All right, let's see if we have enough oil in here. The potato's full of water. It was so juicy. I have a collaboration video that I have to do. That, that tomato was supposed to be used for. I'm going to have to buy some more. This, oh, oh, by the way, this tomato did not come from my garden. We had a hailstorm not too long ago, and it just tore our plants up. And uh, so I'm, I think I have one tomato growing right now. But I do have some jalapeno growing. Uh, but we just didn't have good luck with tomatoes. But I found, I found a little fruit stand. And he, he has the best peaches. Oh, my goodness. That's some of the best peaches I've ever had. They are, like, so juicy and sweet. Ella. Ella wants one every day. They're so good. And I didn't even know she liked peaches. So let's cook this. I, you know, you can cook this as long as you like. It's up to you. Let's add a, just a little cumin to this. And a little oregano, I think. I think that would be just fine. You season to your own taste, whatever you like. Let's add a little, uh, let's add a little oregano, yeah. Nothing's wrong with little herbs. And I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of roasted garlic powder. And I'll cook these for a minute, clean up my mess, and uh, You're cooking that really good, really well, really well. And this is the bean I'm gonna use. It's a ranch top, I know a lot of people rinse them. I'm just and, and also, she rinses them and puts them separate. I'm just throwing it all in together. I want to cook the uh, the skins. I don't really know if I'm going to use them all either. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, and I forgot to mention the corn. Now, you could use fresh corn. I have some frozen corn I need to use. I think I'm going to keep that one separate. I love... Uh, but I'll tell you one thing. I did taste the beans. I do like the ranch style flavor, but it does need a little salt. So we're going to add a little salt, because beans definitely need salt. I could eat this over rice, I'm telling you. Oh, pretty soon I will be making large llama beans. I haven't made that yet. I haven't made those in years, actually. In the Instant Pot, and llama beans are our favorite. So I thought I'd give it a go. Heat that up. Let's see. I don't know if I should keep the rest of the beans separate. I think I am. I think I'm gonna turn this off. I think this looks great. It's a little wet, but that, you know, you're know you gonna have rice anyway, so this is gonna be my style of a burrito. So let's turn this off and let it cool a little bit. And then, uh, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of lime juice in here. I, this is from one lime. I was supposed to do the zest separately, and I just threw it together. You know, I used to not like uh, citrus in my food at all, but I've acquired a taste for it, and I really enjoy it now. I 
I guess we should give this a little taste. I'm gonna mess the whole thing up. Let's see. I always burn myself. Even when I'm not videoing, I still burn myself. Oh man. That is wonderful. Yeah, that, that's really good. Oh, you could totally skip the meat and make this a vegetarian version. So let's take it off the fire and then I'm gonna figure out how to build this burrito bowl. So you might wanna keep your beans separate. But you know what? I wanna really stress, you should, you should flavor every layer. I forgot to taste the chicken, so we have to taste the chicken. The rice is gonna have flavor. The corn has salt and pepper. The rice has chicken stock, so I didn't put salt. But it has lime juice and lime zest. This is good, but it's not it's not salty at all. It's I really probably could add a little bit more salt, but we have that cheese, so we don't need to. So I'm excited. I love this kind of stuff, and uh, I've always wanted to make one. I think there's a glare everywhere I go in, in my kitchen. I, I'm really sorry. I, I'm going to try to work on that. Uh, I wanted to mention that, uh, I think it was a couple weekends ago, they had Bayou Bash in Lake Charles, Louisiana. I didn't know about it until it was almost over, but I got a chance to go to see. I met Two Family Homestead which I love their live streams and uh, also met some other homesteads. Uh, some nice, nice people. I mean, just great people. It was so much fun meeting and talking to other YouTubers and then some were just homesteaders. But um, I met, this one was from Capital, Louisiana and uh, I forgot the name of their homestead. But I got fig preserves. I can't get figs anymore and this is my favorite. Um, let me know if you like fig cake. And I got a strawberry jam because I didn't make any this year from McClendon Homestead. I'm so sorry I don't remember everybody else's names. I should have had a pen and paper with me when I went. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm, it's not really uh, time for me to eat, but I'm going to make a bowl because I want to try it. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you about that Bayou Bash. I wish I'd have known about it earlier. I knew I, I know I missed a lot of fun. Uh, I got to, you know, missing a, a lot of people, uh, to meet a lot of people that also do YouTube and to learn from and Two Family Homestead are, gave me just in the short amount of time that I got to see them gave me some great tips about things I should do for my channel and I also wanted to say that I am so grateful it seems like a little bit slow but it doesn't matter I'm having so much fun I have met so many nice nice people this has been the biggest blessing in my life you just don't know uh, and I love love to cook I just had a little trouble this week with, with inspiration. I don't know why. I just, I guess you know you have art blocks at a cooking block. But uh, I love cooking. It's my passion. I love baking. Um, I, I, it's just, it's so much fun. But oh, I can't even remember what I wanted to say. I'm so sorry. And if you like, it, just click off of me and we're talking too much. If you can't take it, I understand. But um, I'm almost to 2000. So I'm so excited. So share my video if you don't mind, if you want to. If you don't want to, that's okay. I totally get it. But uh, I'm so close to 2,000. Just spread the word. Tell your friends. And if they like homestyle cooking, Cajun cooking, just simple cooking, just tell them to view my channel. But uh, anyway, I wanted to say thanks to everyone that has subscribed and uh, the people that have been with me for a long time. I love you guys. It's amazing. Uh, it's just a blessing, and I'm so grateful. So thank you. So let's take a bite of this burrito bowl. I think I'm going to try to show you how I'm going to make it. It's going to be hard, but uh, we'll get it. close to the camera, but that's okay. I only have, I can't put things on the stove over here. It's still hot. So let's start with a little rice. And by the way, I added more lime and parsley. And uh, I also have more rice in my rice pot, but I didn't want to take out a bunch. I just, just want a little bit. And I probably should get a smaller bowl, but I want to be able to spread it out so you can see all the ingredients. A lot of people would like their beans separate. Uh, so if you like it that way, cook them that way. I mean, serve them that way, I'm sorry. But I'm just gonna add a little rice. You know, and you could uh, wrap this up in a tortilla. You could do so many things. I'm gonna add a little chicken. See, I didn't wanna make too much, so. And I love, 
chicken breasts, you know, I'll buy them and then I'm like, oh, what the heck am I going to do with them? Because you have to flavor some chicken breasts. But they, but it's my favorite. I mean, but I have some bone in skin on chicken breast in my refrigerator right now. I think I'm like uh, barbecue in the oven or make another, uh, I'll make it an Italian dish. You put as much chicken as you like. So I'm going to put that. Now I'm going to add some of my vegetable mixture, which is, you know, a little juicy, a little, that's okay. It's going to cover, you know how we like rice and gravy in Louisiana. This is perfect for us. You know what I mean? So this won't hurt me one bit. And I also like pinto beans a lot. Or refried beans. Or Now I think I'm going to add some corn. And I had to put a little butter in this corn just, just because I have to. It's my favorite. I could eat just the corn for supper. But I know I need some protein. I haven't been eating enough protein, I think, lately. And... I've been eating a lot of watermelon. So, and I'm gonna, I, I like raw onion as well. So I'm gonna add a little bit of raw onion. I like that bite. Most of the time I add red, but I just grabbed whatever I had out of the refrigerator. I have so many little bowls in the refrigerator. I'm gonna add some diced pickled jalapenos. These are really crunchy, so I chop them up small. And I like, I love these things. They say hot, but they're not that hot. But you do wanna wash your hands after this. And then you could either add uh, grated cheese or the melted cheese or both. I'm just going to add a little bit of this cheese. And you can skip the cheese if you want to. You could just use, like I said, the salsa con queso, whatever you like. That's why I wanted to do this recipe because, I mean, you use your favorite cheeses, your favorite vegetables, everything. It's so, it's so versatile. You can get so creative with it is what I want to say, I guess. Okay. Now, I might add more cheese because I just love cheese and I'm a hog like that. I like, I, you can dip tortillas in it. Now, you could put sliced avocados. I personally don't like them unless I like make my own guacamole, but I sure forgot to show you the brand. But these, the little, little, these in this little pack, this guacamole, it's very good. So I'm just going to put a little bit on top. And you also could put some fresh tomatoes on top. For decoration but I am gonna stop there I probably need a little bit more color but that's gonna be the that's gonna be my picture I think and then we'll do a taste test okay here's the finished product I added a little bit more salsa and green onions and a couple of tortilla chips so now let's give it a taste test I want you to see before I ever do anything this is my habit you guys I have to like wash let me show you like all the, I have a dishwasher, but I have to wash all the dishes. All I have to do is put the uh, cheese in a container. Everything else is in the refrigerator. So now let me turn the camera around. I've been Don't look at my hair. It's really crazy. Hair's pretty in it. So let's give this a try. I didn't put any shredded cheese. I'm trying to get a bite of everything. I will. Let's see. Okay. Mmm. I've never had my cheese dip with rice before and and beans. And the lime juice. You really need the lime juice, guys. Or y'all. I should say y'all because that's what I really say in real life. Sometimes I try to say the other word. It's pretty good. I would make it again. I really like it. Um, it, even, it would be even delicious without rice, with tortillas. I mean, there's so many things you can do. But anyway, I uh, know this video is going to be too long. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, if you like all kind of recipes. I know I need to bake something soon. It's been a while. Especially bread. But thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Um, hopefully I'll be back soon. And uh, everybody have a great day or night. Whenever you're watching this, come back and see me. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.